Hi, hi, welcome to the channel. Today we are here to look at this lovely Sea Line SC35 called Gale Force. It's a bit less windy today, so hopefully you can hear me. Current owner's got the dinghy sitting on the back on a snap davit system. Which you can see runs up here and then clips on to the back there. We'll have a quick walk around the deck first before we go inside. So the nice thing about these boats is because of the beam, you get a really good side deck. Nice rail there. There's another nice grab rail up here. Midship's cleat. Fantastic sunbathing area. Obviously not today, but in the summer, out front. Forward cleats here. There's an access escape and a light hatch, if you like, to the fore cabin. The usual anchor buttons here and here. Little seat to perch when you're going along if you wanted to. And then in here is the anchor locker. So if you look at the back there is the anchor winch, brace plate, and then all the chain sits down there. That's the anchor locker. And if you take a quick look back, you can see the fantastic all-glass windscreen. And also you'll notice on top. This has the folding roof. So this entire roof section here slides all the way back and opens up this entire space to give light and sun inside. But if the weather's not so nice like today, you can slide the whole thing shut. You also have at the back here, radar, and then the uh, usual bits and pieces, lighting, VHF aerial, TV aerial. And I do believe on the back here, there is also a reversing camera there you go so you can see what you do when you come back onto the pontoon there's a couple of little lockers down here self-draining locker there it's quite nice for ropes and fenders boarding ladder folds out over there there's another little locker down here oh there you go fender storage and the like Really nice little entry gate here. Let's have a look on board. So we're inside a fantastic cockpit space. Now bearing in mind, it's a pretty horrible day today. This is a fantastic space. I'm just gonna take a walk forward and then turn around. So you have lounging space all down the side here with seating. This is all silver text. There's really nice lighting there and under here. Seating around the back there, beautiful fold-out table, solid teak, really great place to entertain, particularly because you've got an outside galley. Little barbecue here, underneath there is a good old Rico fridge, stocked for the winter. So a little barbecue there, and then under here, your standard sink with a mixer tap. It's quite sweet because there's another little sofa area there. Engines are under here, we'll have a look at those in a moment. Quite a handy little grab handle actually when the boat's moving around. And then in here is another very, very large locker that pretty much takes the entire space under the helm seat. Helm seat's broken into two sections driver and passenger both with bolsters conventional steering wheel then here you've got thrusters looks like a bow and a stern thruster electronic engine controls for the Volvo Penta engines usual switches this is quite neat they've matched up the starboard and port engines so you've got the trim the volts temperature pressure helm indicator fuel gauge RPM for the starboard engine, RPM for the port engine, and port engine separate fuel tank. Here is the Raymarine chart plotter uh, with the radar as well. And then you've got the tri data, so that's speed, log, and depth. And this one is the autopilot. Quite unusual on a boat, but really practical is cup holders, 
and some secure storage so somewhere to put things to stop them rolling around and under here you can see there is the control for the radio and an array of switches again really useful particularly on a day like today demister for the heated windscreen and then the anchor switch huge amount of space forward and there you can see the little heat events big big windscreen if you were steering on a day like today that is the view you would have forward obviously with the wipers going so to go down below you open this door let's go and have a look below right so let's have a look down here so three nice chunky steps plenty of clearance takes you down into a really really spacious saloon start on the port side you've got this array of seating a couple of nice port lights all your AC power switches here lockers down here with a stereo in it another locker that side really nice table here this folds out to give you a full dining area it's also quite neat because you can fold it back you can spin it round and then it becomes a nice little coffee table it's on a height adjustable leg so you can move it around the door there to the aft cabin what's really nice is they have used all of the space under the stairs for storage big locker there obviously not one there because there's space underneath on the starboard side you have the galley as you can see there is a gas cooker here double gas hob there as you would expect a sink which all appears to be quite a nice corian and under there massive massive storage locker storage above as well so all of these lift up there's the tv area in there storage for the plates which is quite nice these all screw in so you can adjust them around to fit your plates same in that one nice view out if you're the chef opening port light there down here we have a Waco fridge again storage for the cutlery and then there's another little cupboard in there under the sink all pretty standard stuff what's also nice is the whole backsplash here is all in stainless steel power points there nice grab off going up down the stairs let's have a look in the aft cabin oh actually before i forget this boat has also got a basto warm air heating so you can set the temperature you like leave it and the boat stays at that temperature so this is your aft cabin wardrobe this side as we enter In there, so there's storage space on top. And what's also quite nice is there's a big overhead light there, skylight. Steps into decent headroom, really good headroom, probably close to seven foot. Obviously, drops down over the bed. There's a mini single berth here, you could say for a child or a chaise long. Then you've got uh, under here two big, big singles one single that side, another single this side. You can see here there's an infill section that goes up to make that an entire double and two big windows so if i go on this side there's a little bit of headroom lift up and also under here is opening port light you can see it's a decent space down here i think if this was mine i'd probably use this as the master but each to their own little tv down there and then the same sort of thing on the other side opening window here as well so that is the aft cabin let's go and have a look at the forward cabin so the forward cabin has quite a clever split door system so one door and the other door that's how you get a little bit of extra standing room in the floor as you come in big center line double bed 
two really decent size opening port lights. One and two. There's the overhead hatch or escape hatch we looked at earlier. You can see there's a couple of reading lights either side. A little TV. Storage all in these overhangs, these beautiful teak overhangs down the side there. Then under here we have very large, very large hanging wardrobe. This little thing pulls out look, so you can get your clothes more easily. It's quite a clever use actually of a corner space and this is also quite funky so this little drawer slides out on an angle gives you a bit of extra storage so that is the master cabin and on this side we have access to the jack and jill heads so same one as before nice shower bit of storage over there and that is a Sealine SC35. One thing I forgot to mention that we'll have a quick look at is obviously the fact that this massive roof section opens. So this entire roof section here unclips one and two and slides all the way back here, all the way back to about here somewhere. And then these back canopies here roll up and sit in this clamshell here. So let's have a quick look at the engines. So access to the engine hatch, as we looked at earlier, is underneath this little section here. We lift it up, it's on gas struts. There you go. Let's have a quick peek down below, shall we? In here you have two Volvo Penta. I don't know you can see it's a bit dark in here. D4260s, decent engine bay, fuel tanks on both sides, water heaters over there, massive fire suppression system here. Looks like an array of batteries that side. Another fuel tank here, battery charger over there, hydraulic pump for the rams, and there you go. Really spacious engine bay oh and over there right in the far corner up there you can see the air dispatcher heater on the bulkhead wall we have the Raycor filters so these are designed to separate any water that gets into the fuel so there you go one sea line sc35